Welcome back everybody. In this QGIS tutorial we're going to go over a couple different ways that you can use geocode methods to plot locations onto your map. The first thing we have done is we have created a folder that is going to hold our shape files. And also in this folder we have two CSV files that have the addresses and latitude and longitude coordinates that we're going to use to plot the locations onto our map. For the first example, we're going to use this file here. And here we have a preview. The file includes the location names for some Frisbee golf courses around the Indianapolis area. Then here we have the address and the city, the state, and the zip code. The main parts of the address that we're going to need include the address here, the city, and the state. An important thing to note is you want to make sure that your data is formatted correctly using the CSV format. So, if you created your CSV using Excel, Numbers, or Calc, it can be a good idea to open that up after you have saved it as a CSV into some kind of a text editor to check the formatting. So let's go ahead and open this up into the Atom text editor. And from a quick glance, the data looks okay. Things that you want to keep an eye out for include extra quotes, commas, or any formatting that looks off or wrong. If you see anything that looks wrong, go ahead and fix it and then resave the CSV. Now we should be ready to use this data from this CSV file to create our first example. The first thing we're going to do is to pull in the OpenStreetMap tile. So over here on the left, under XYZ Tiles, we're going to double-click the OpenStreetMap. The next thing we're going to do is to use the MMQGIS plugin. And the first thing you want to do is to make sure that you have the plugin installed. So if you go up to Plugins, Manage, and Install Plugins. Then let's type in MMQGIS. In this case, the plugin is already installed. If you needed to install the plugin, you would select the plugin and click Install. Also, when working with the plugins, make sure you have the correct option selected on the sidebar here. So, since we have the MMQGIS plugin installed, we just want to make sure that we have the checkbox checked and enabled. We're good to go and ready to use the plugin. Now, Let's go up to the menu bar and click on MMQGIS. Next, let's click on Geocode. Then we're going to click on Geocode CSV. Now we can go to Browse. And we're going to use the Addresses CSV here. And remember, this is the file with the address, the city, and the state. Let's click Open. For the address field, we're going to use the address. For the city field, we're going to use our city. For the state field, we're going to use the state. We're going to leave the country field blank. Then for the web service, we're going to use OpenStreetMap. The output shapefile is going to go into the map folder. Also, it will create a CSV of any addresses not found. Let's click OK. If any of the addresses are not found, you might have better luck using the latitude and longitude option. And we're going to go over an example of that here in just a second. Also, another thing to point out. When you are geocoding your addresses, make sure that your paths here and here are correct. And one last note. If for some reason you get an error when you do this, just go ahead and try it again. Okay, so we have geocoded our addresses, and you can see them right here. Now to zoom in and to see these a little bit better, let's go ahead and select the geocode layer right here. Then we want to go up to the toolbar and click on zoom to layer, like that. And now we can see our plot points. If for some reason you can't see your plot points, make sure that your geocode layer is on top of the map, like this. So if it's like this, you see that the points go away. 
And to fix that, you can drag the geocode layer on top of the map. Like that. These markers are a little bit hard to see, so let's go ahead and make them a little bit bigger and add some labels. To do that, let's double click on the geocode layer. Then let's go to Symbology. And let's change the size to 12. And we'll make the marker colors green. Then let's go to Labels, Single Labels, and for the labels, we'll use the location name. If we click Apply, we can see the outcome here, and OK. So you can see we have used geocoding to plot the Frisbee golf course locations onto the map. Now let's go ahead and close this. And then if we open up our folder, we have that layer saved as a shapefile here. So let's go ahead and open up QGIS. Let's go ahead and add our OpenStreetMap. And since we have that geocode layer saved as a shapefile, we can pull it back in. Let's go to Open Data Source Manager. Then let's go to Vector. Let's click on Browse. Let's go ahead and select the shapefile and open and add. And you can see we have added the geocode layer back to our map. Now you'll notice that the style or formatting for the plot points was not saved. And we're going to go over an example of how to save styling and formatting in a future tutorial. For the next example, instead of using a geocode service, we're going to use latitudes and longitudes. The CSV file we're going to use looks like this, where we have the location name, the latitude, and the longitude. Before we get started with this example, let's go over one more thing. In the last example, to pull our shapefile layer into our project, you'll notice that we went to Open Data Source Manager. And then we chose Vector. Now that's just one way to do that, and there are several other ways. However, a really easy way to do it is to just go ahead and drag that in, like this. Okay, so now let's use our latitude and longitude file. The first thing we want to do is to go up to layer. Then let's go to add layer here. Next, let's go to add delimited text layer. Let's go ahead and click on the browse button. We're going to go ahead and choose our CSV. And another quick note make sure when you're setting up your file, with the locations and the latitudes and the longitudes that you don't have the latitude and the longitude swapped. That can be an easy mistake to make. Let's go ahead and click open. For the file format, we're going to use CSV. For the geometry definition, we're going to use point coordinates. For the X field, we want longitude. For the Y field, we want latitude. And in this case, for the Geometry Coordinate Reference System, we should be okay with the default. And for everything else, we should be okay with the default options. Now we can click Add and Close. So here, you can see we have our locations plotted. Once again, let's make them a little bit bigger. Now one thing to point out, when using the latitude and longitude, all of the Frisbee golf course locations were plotted. In the last example with the addresses, there was one location that it was not able to plot. So if we go to the map folder and click on not found, we can see that this location here was not found and not plotted onto the map. However, when we use the latitudes and longitudes, it was able to plot all the locations. One last thing you might like to do is to go ahead and save this layer. 
So one way to do that is to click on the layer and right click. And then you can click on export, save feature as. Another way to do that is to click on the layer and then go to layer, save as. We're going to go ahead and save this as a shape file. And then for the file name, we want to click on browse. Let's go ahead and save this in our map folder. And let's click save. Then we can click OK. OK, let's add the layer that we just saved back to our map. Let's go ahead and drag that in. And you can see we have our locations plotted. We're good to go. Join us again next time.